Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can move the metadata below the blog title on a blog list in your Squarespace website. I'm redoing my blog right now and I found this information super helpful so I wanted to share it with you. Now, as always, you'll find the codes that I'm about to use in the description below, but I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so I can show you how this works and how to set it up on your own Squarespace website. Let's get started. So here we are inside Squarespace looking at a blog list. Now, if I scroll down on this page, we'll see the blog items. We have the category and date at the top, then the blog post, and then the excerpt. What we're gonna do is use custom CSS to rearrange all three of those. I'm gonna navigate to website, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom of my website pages to website tools. Clicking on this, I can then access custom CSS. This is where we're going to paste the code. Now I'm gonna paste this code right here, which is in the description below, and immediately you'll see everything rearrange. Here's how this code works. The very first part of it says take any text that's inside this blog grid and make sure it's set to display flex, and then change that direction to column. After that, I've said take the blog title and make it first, take the blog excerpt and make it second, and then take the metadata and make it third. Now we can rearrange these at any time. Maybe you, want, maybe you want the excerpt to be last, change that to a three and the metadata to a two, and it'll be rearranged. I also want to mention the spacing. Here we can see my metadata is actually pretty close to the excerpt, but there's a good amount of space between the title and the metadata. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit of extra room here by adding a margin. I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard to open a new line, and I'll type margin bottom, how about 15 px, followed by exclamation point important. We've got to make sure that the browser prioritizes our code over any other code it might see, so we have to add exclamation point important to make sure that happens. Now I've got a little extra space there. You can change this value to anything you want, and you can completely remove it if they're close enough. Whatever you decide to customize, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. I should also mention this is specific for the grid blog post. If we hop into edit mode here and we take a look at this specific section, if I select edit section, you'll see I have the basic grid blog. That's the layout that this code will work for. As long as you have that set up, you can add your custom CSS here, customizing the order in any way that suits your site style. Now, one last time how we got to this panel, from our main navigation here, what I want you to do is select website, scroll down to the bottom and select website tools, and then click on custom CSS. This is where you'll add the code that you'll also find in the description below. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used so you can make your own Squarespace website uniquely yours. You'll also find links to related content so you can learn even more about customizing Squarespace with code. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. Now available in a Notion database, you can have access to all of the custom codes that I use for modifying Squarespace websites. In here, you'll find selectors, pre-made style snippets, and a bunch of pro tips. So even if you're brand new to all things CSS, you're going to love the content you'll find here. To get lifetime access to this Notion database of custom code for Squarespace, visit insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.